The construction industry relies on drawing-based deliverables, as you may all be aware. But alongside all this, there's a need to be digitally smart to drive quality and alleviate industry pressures. What's up guys? Welcome back again to our channel. This channel is a platform to learn architecture presentation and visualization. It's only focused on teaching tips, tricks, and resources dedicated for our viewers. Today we'll cover how you can improve your project deliveries and share immersive models with clients. You learn how to you learn how you could take your clients for a walk into a new project, be it a mall, an office, an office space, a home that has not been built yet. This is basically how you could wow your clients uh, by extending Beam VR to reality. As you may know, these are best practices as always. Uh, we, we advocate for you guys to stand out in terms of your project deliveries as a firm or individuals. Uh, we are going to learn uh, key things about VR, why you should use VR in your presentations uh, to develop trust and win project, uh, save time with fast approvals, uh, make questions and uh, process visual intuitive and easy and communicate across teams and project stakeholders uh, by using VR. This is mainly the reasons why you should use VR. And key learnings for all this, for VR, key learnings are we are going to cover uh, advantages, advantages of fully functioning with Beam because VR is providing significant cost savings and workflow efficiencies, but it's also providing tangible productivity benefits in that it's speeding up the approval processes. Basically, that is Beam. Uh, now, the key learnings for today, like I said, um, uh, we're going to focus on advantages of fully functioning with Beam and a few demonstrations, uh, more digital interactions with VR, explain how VR can wow stakeholders, your clients, and how to bring design to life by telling a compelling narratives and adding value to your project types. That's the basically uh, key learnings for today, the workflows as well, how we're going to achieve this. Uh, the workflows for Beam are simple. We're going to focus on our workflow in the studio, three work workflows. Uh, that is ArchiCAD, Beam and VR workflow, that's, that is ArchiCAD and Lumion, and then the panor Panorama software is be it 3D Vistas or P, P, you know. Yes, those are basically the softwares that we'll be uh, introducing. We have uh, introduced this uh, 3D Panoramas softwares for you guys to tap in. As you may know, uh, virtual tours are here to stay. The VR world is uh, as the world is advancing and, you know, what we have been witnessing in terms of the new normal and so on, so we as well have to adopt. Virtual tours are used to remotely view homes or construction in progress, can be adapted as early as the design phase. Uh, using virtual tours in this, using virtual tours in this way can help those involved in actual design concretize their vision more efficiently than when utilizing only more traditional resources. You know, like your drawings are out outdated, guys. We need to tap in to uh, more advanced ways. So instances where you could use v utilize VR as your architectural presentations, as you, as you may uh, look into as you continue the video. Uh, project monitoring as well. That is our next project, uh, next video that we'll be covering as well as facility management. So we've introduced this virtual tours VR services into our system. So we'll be teaching you guys on how to capitalize with this. An architectural 360 virtual tour is a visually immersive uh, experience that allows users to walk through a space. It's a three-dimensional presentation of a design plan. Um, as you may know, this is ArchiCAD. ArchiCAD is for, B, for, for Beam 
as, as, as our, our go-to software. It produces nice drawings, nice uh, workflows, nice PDFs and so on. But in terms of us to fully immerse, fully wow our clients, we need a three-dimensional presentation uh, schema. And this is why we, we have to use AkiCAD inter, interoperabilities with other softwares, uh, such as, as we, like we said, we used Lumion. And Lumion, after Lumion, we used uh, uh, 3D Vista and so on. So it, is, it, it can be difficult to get a clear vision of a proposed space based on only flat images and, you know, drawings. Because, yes, we have different stakeholders in the construction industry. So having uh, the, the skills to merge all the softwares, uh, with virtual tools, you can take your clients to your new newly modeled space, newly modeled home design, mall, whatever the project may be, so they can, they can experience it rather than just look at sketches and plans. A Visual 360 view of a living space, and in this case as a restaurant, uh, gives them the idea of how the space will look, the lighting, the, the finishes and so on. Uh, if they are, you know, like they are already standing in the building there, it's not already yet built, but it gives it gives the look and feel you know this is a sample of a 360 uh, as a bmx file you could attach you know a, a bmx file i could and bmx as we, you know uh, bmx is a very powerful uh, vr tool you could use a vr google's oculus oculus for architecture in vr in in, in bmx that's uh, an advanced workflow you could plug in your Oculus to view this. If you don't have Oculus, you can use just BMX with your, your your pad. But if your office is advanced, you could get an Oculus for you to you know play around and take your clients into uh, you know having to experience all this kind of workflows. Oculus is good. Oculus for business. Oculus for uh, for facility management and so on. But if you don't have that you you can render you can go to lumion and render and produce those those, those nice images and so on and you know but now we could go to vr vr the software you could click uh, clients will be able to see every room we could also add additional elements such as drawings videos audio backgrounds links to social medias links to uh, cut material catalogs to manufacturers, links to whatever. Like this could be interactive uh, to clients as well as your col collaborators, your project collaborators, your your QSs, your structure engineers, your interior designers, and so on. You know. And while we all hope our design fully captures our client's vision, we can get it right. All of the time, the virtual tour can help mitigate the risk of misfire before it's too late. And this feedback loop affords designers a more thorough understanding of what the clients want. Ultimately, this means improved customer satisfaction and more positive reviews. After all, there's no substitute for word of mouth marketing. So if you produce a stunning presentation like this, uh, you know, people will talk. People will talk, word of mouth is very powerful, very contagious, and this is the way. I think we need to tap into that uh, VR presentation project deliveries. Uh, we're introducing uh, 3D Vistas software tutorials to our channel. Stick around, uh, like and subscribe to, to this channel if you're interested, interested in the future of project deliveries. And this was just a demo, real workflow, and and a project, one project, and with four different presentation styles. You know, that was just uh, a quick demo reel because we want to, uh, you guys to tap into what's coming ahead, you know. Uh, get in touch if you're interested in VR. It's a very powerful visualization. It's a very powerful visualization and communication tool. This is how the belt environment can seize the opportunities of a digital economy. As you know, the world is gone digital. Uh, tap in. We are working remotely now. Uh, you need to match this all, the skills. All right. Uh,
Bye for now guys, this is just a, a quick demonstration, a quick demo reel of how you could fuse AkiCAD, Lumion and VR at once. That was the workflow. I hope you liked, I hope it was beneficial, I hope it was... Um, yes, as, as for the AkiCAD file, you could download in the link, in the, in the link below, uh, get the course to hone your AkiCAD skills, get your AkiCAD Lumion courses, and the link in the description uh, yes bye for now guys um